Okay, hey everybody, this is Greg Ryder, CEO and founder of Club Tukey, the ultimate kids internet. And we're going to give you a demonstration of the website, how it works, logging on, the bank account, earning money, uh, and just kind of give you a little tour of how it all works. Um, so, and based on this demonstration, we're going to assume that you've created an account. Now, if, they have, if somebody hasn't created an account, they're going to click on the Register Now button. And with our private label kids clubs, they'll be, uh, they can click on this Join Now button over here. And it all goes through the same process. And I want to just kind of show somebody. I have this thing called uh, RoboForm. And RoboForm is a password manager. So whenever I go to a website and there's a username and a password that I need to remember, it automatically remembers it for me. So I just hover over it. I'm going to click on my DreamWorks demo account. I'm going to hit Fill Forms. And it automatically fills the username and password. And I literally have thousands of usernames and passwords for all the websites that we deal with. And uh, maybe not thousands, but probably a thousand. <laughs> and, and it remembers everything for me. All I have to do is remember one username and password. It remembers everything else for me, and then I can log in. So if you guys are like me and have a lot of websites and bank accounts and credit card accounts and websites where you have a username and password, go to RoboForm.com and buy that program. It's like 30 40 bucks. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a cell phone to me. It's like I can't imagine living without it. So anyway, I filled in my nickname DreamWorks and my password is hidden and I'm going to hit go and now it's going to log me into the site. Now the first thing that we notice when we're logged into the site is now I'm logged in and it shows me how much Tuki Moolah I have. So over here it shows I have $1,659.27. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my bank account and we're going to look at my bank account and the check register and it's going to show us the different items of how we've earned money and what it looks like. So, um, and you can see this is a demo account that we use from time to time and we, we hand out stuff and we do stuff with it. So I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and you're going to see on 10-3 we played the memory game and we earned a dollar two. On 10-5 we bid on an iTunes $25 gift card, and you can see it took the money out. So again, going back to these columns, we have a credit column, a debit column, and a balance column. And so it's just like a check register. So it shows me the date, it shows me the game I played, and did I earn money or did I did, was a de debit taken out? And then obviously what happens is, is let's see if there's an outbid. Okay, so here's an outbid. So I bid on, where did I bid on the frog? Okay, so see down here, I bid on the frog and it took out $15 out of my account. So it subtracted the $15, but then out here at 11, 11, 11, I got outbid and it put the money back in. But then you can see right below this, I actually won the iTunes gift card. And so it, it showed me that I won it, but there's no transaction here, but it has now permanently taken that money out of my account. So again, this is the basis for you know, the financial literacy for the kids. So let's go to the game arcade. So I'm clicking on games. And under the game arcade, one of the things I want to point out to people that most people, uh, we're going to change this very soon. But right here it says, click here to find games in the jungle. But enter the jungle at your own risk. Well, because we've all been programmed for banner blindness, a lot of people don't even know this is here. But if I click on this, it's going to take us to a jungle where we have games hidden in the jungle even with some sound effects. And so this is kind of like I'm in the jungle and I've got my binoculars and I'm looking around and I can see there's a, there's a, I forget what that thing's called, but there's a lizard and some little ants and some insects and a snake and a frog. Now what happens is, is you'll notice when I go in here and my mouse turns into a hand, that's obviously a hyperlink. And so now if I click on that, here's a hidden game, play Sports Smash. And I can close say, no thanks, I don't want to play that. Or I'm going to go on the butterfly. And I can hit the soccer ball. And I can play the soccer ball game. Or I can go down here. And so on each one of these little animals, there's hidden games. This is a Rubik's Cube. And so we hide games in the jungle. So that's just one of the things we've done. So I'm going to go back to the games area. And just that was like a little hidden place and where there's some games. OK, so then in the game section, right now we have them sectioned off and organized by quizzes. Uh, memory games, um, math games, so we have math games, they're, so they're like into sections, geography games, um, and we're, we're talking about how we might change this as well, and kind of as we add more games and do more stuff here. So let's say we want to play the Internet Safety Scrabble game. 
So I hit play. And by the way, this is one of the most popular games we have on the website. And we know that through <coughs> our, um, our analytics. And you can see a little thing while it's loading, we give it internet safety tip. And see now it comes up, the internet safety, internet word scrabble. So I hit start. And now it gives me instructions, drag and drop letters, rearrange them from a valid word. And you can click on a hint to get the meaning of the word. So I'm hit start. And so see, we have up here the dominoes. And we got to figure out what this word says. So because I don't want to figure it out, I want to hit hint. The address you can find in a website at. The meaning of the word is the address you can find a website at. Uh, I think it's a domain. So I'm going to hit D-O. M A I N and I hit submit. Correct. So now I go to the next word. And and this is chat. I'm gonna go to chat. And I'm gonna hit submit. And it says okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is a home page. See I played this game a few times, you can tell, huh? I recognize the letters. Um, oops. So I just I dra drag and drop the words into the right place. And then it spells the word, I hit submit, and I get money. So every time my score is going up. So now I'm done, I'm bored, I want to get my moolah. I just hit, click get moolah. And now it's going to go and it's going to calculate how much my score was, what this game plays. It says, okay, you won 85 cents at Tuki Moolah. Click here to see what you can win. That would take me to the auction. Click here to play more games. That takes me back to the game page. But I'm going to go to the bank for a second because I want to show you that one of my balances changed. And I want to show you the line item that I put into my bank. So you can see on 3-8 today, I played Internet Safety Scrabble, and I earned 85 cents, and now my balance has been increased by 85 cents. So that's basically how everything works. Now, one of the things I want to note to everybody is when you play a game and you're not a paid Kids Club member, but you have a registered account, every time you complete a game, it says if you would be a paid kids club member you get more money so we give more money to paid kids club members and then if you're just a free user matter of fact let's do that real quick so I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna go to the game section and now in the game section you're gonna notice I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Hibble Hangman because I like Hibble Hangman <laughs> we're gonna play this game but I, I don't have an account so it has nowhere to deposit my my Tuki Moolah so let me show you what happens when this happens. So I'm just going to click through. Right now. So we got all these sound effects. Don't type to strangers. Okay. So I played the game. I won. It says don't type to strangers. And now I'm going to hit finished because now I want to get my moolah. And now the game refreshes and it says free members earn 10 cents a Tuki moolah. Primo members earn 50 cents. Not a member yet? Click here to register. So again, because, I'm a f because I just came to the website and I played a game, I don't have an account to deposit my Tuki moolah into. So therefore, it's giving me a, a, a it's, it, this is like a conversion strategy saying, hey, look. If you want to create an account, create an account. If you will become a Primo member, you earn five times as much with this game. Now, all the games are different, and we have the ability to program which games pay how much. And we change that from time to time to get kids to play certain games. So now I'm going to log back in with my robo form. And uh, we are going to go, and now it says it remembers that I just played that game. And, it, and it's like, oh, I played the game before I logged in. So that's going, bam, you just got 50 cents. So I'm going to go back to my bank account. And I'm going to show you that it remembered and it put it in the transaction item. See, so see right here, Hibbly Hangman, 3-8, I earned 50 cents. So there's a lot of cool things in the background that, you know, the programming-wise that are really kind of cool about how that works and what's going on. And so there's your idea that the kids are playing the game, so they're earning the money, it's going to their bank account, they're building up their balance and they can bid on real stuff. So now let's go to the prizes section, which is the auction. Now in the auction section, we have, what we have is our premier auctions, and this is the kind of stuff that we want people, the kids to see. And again, we're gonna be re-engineering the way this looks, and we're always trying to make it better, make it more user-friendly, and make it so the kids like it better. But so we have the iTunes gift card, we have an autographed symphony CD, we have a slap watch, we have a year subscription to the magazine, we have a pearl necklace. Um, 
And then down here we have stuff categorized. And see, I gotta, I gotta get on something. You can see it says books, and there's zero books in this in here. So I'm gonna click on that. See, so there's no books. So I gotta go get with our t our auction manager. She's kind of new, and so we should never have an area where there's zero. So if you ever see that, just shoot us a quick email, and we'll make sure the auction manager gets stuff in there. And what happens is the auctions end, and then we have to add new auctions. So um, same thing with the buy it now section. So it looks like there's zero auctions in here, and this should not be empty. So I'll go get on this as soon as we hang out, because that is not good. But the one thing I did want to point out is in the buy it now section, we have auctions where they can get the instant gratification. They could actually spend their money and buy it now. It's not an auction. They don't get bid on. They don't get outbid. It's an actual buy it now. So it's like a store. It's like I'm going to use my Tuki Moolah. out. This is what I'm going to get, and that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to go down here to electronics, and I'm going to look for, let's see here, a solar charger doesn't interest me, a Barbie video grill camera. Now that's a really a cool thing. I was actually at Barbie. We had a presentation. We're, we're kind of getting them as a sponsor for us. And uh, we put this in there, so it's a really cool thing. And uh, I'm, we're going to start putting videos in here, video descriptions for the kids to watch. So basically, it shows that there's zero bids in this item. There's 28 times it's been viewed. Here's how many days before the auction ends. Here's the starting bid. So I'm going to go start the bid off. So I'm going to go down here to $50. I'm going to put in $50. And I'm going to hit Place Your Bid. So as soon as I click on Place Your Bid, it's going, hey, do I have money in my account? Yep. And it says, hey, review your bid before you do it. So your current bid available balance is this. This is your bid amount. And I hit place my bid. So the minute I hit place my bid, now it's making an, a transaction into my bank account. It says, thanks for placing your bid. Your bid was accepted. The bid amount was. The auction is scheduled. And so I hit continue. So now, again, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here. Now it shows me that DreamWorks is the high bidder. Now we're going to go, and I can email this to a friend if I wanted to email this to a friend. But if I go over here to back to my bank, we're going to again see another transaction in the check register that shows I bid on this item and it now has taken the money out of my account. See, so I bid on the Barbie video girl camera and it's taken the money out of my account. Now only if I win it does it permanently take it out, but if I get outbid on it, it will, uh, you know, it will put the money back in my account which I don't think I have another demo account that I could show you. No. I don't have another demo account that I could. I was going to say I could log out of this account, go bid on it with another account, and see how it gets outbid and see how that looks like. But it's really that simple. So the money comes in and out, and then when that auction ends, if I'm the high bidder the day it ends, boom, emails are sent out, and we get an email showing that... Um, I won the item and then the parents also get an email acknowledging that and we have a process by where we want the parents to approve that we ship these items to the kids and uh, they're going to see and get what they want to get. It's, it means that the parents are okay with us shipping this item out. Plus that's also a way for us to let the parents know, well my kids actually won something, this is cool and I'm glad that I bought and made this investment. Okay, so that is uh, the bidding and the auction situation. Then under Tuki TV is the Kids Safe YouTube, and you can see here that when I clicked over to Tuki TV, I'm automatically logged in as DreamWorks. And because this is a completely different platform, you can see the branding is different because it's it, we, it's it's it, it's a completely different code base to, in order to do what we do here. But it does talk to what we're doing, and this is just like YouTube. And you can see Kyle makes buckets. Uh, the Amazing Basketball Shots by a Duke Basketball Player. And again, I'll go ahead and click on that one. This is one of my favorite ones. I love this, I love this video. Um, so it's just like YouTube. But all of the videos have been pre-screened and previewed and deemed child appropriate. There's not any inappropriate videos on Tuki TV anywhere. So, and they can even upload videos. And if they come here and upload a video, they gotta give it a title, give it a description. It goes into a holding bin, and until one of our staff members reviews it, it will not go live on the website. So this is, again, our Tuki TV, and this is our way of helping, giving the kids something they like, something they want, but keeping them safe. So now I want to go back to Club Tuki. Let's see if I go click there. I can go back to Club Tuki. And Tuki Island News is our blog where they get the Tuki News, and here they can... Uh, take quizzes and tests to earn money. So for instance, we have 
uh, the goals and dreams. So a kid can come to this site and they can earn $5 at Tuki Moolah by taking the survey. How old they are, what their nickname is, so we can give them their money, what their Tuki email address is. That's a training process to train them on what their email address is. When did you get your last check to Tuki email accounts? So we're asking some questions and do you set goals? So the bottom line is they go through here and then these questions get emailed to us. We then send these questions to the parents. So the parents can say, hey, your children set some goals and talk about their dreams on Club Tuki, and we, just, we thought we'd share that with you. So it's kind of cool, and then we deposit the money in their Tuki Moolah account, and it kind of works as another place to do that kind of stuff. So that about covers uh, what we're doing here. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will open it up for questions. Does anybody listening have any questions? Uh, just state your name and what your question is.